My name is Shantae Rosedan. I'm a YouTuber and I own a entertainment business. I have a tri-diagnosis of depression, ADHD, and bipolar disorder, which means that I am very sad a lot of the times, and it could switch in a split second. Between 6 and 12, it was a lot of self-harm and suicidal ideation, suicide attempts. And then when I was 12, I was officially diagnosed with depression. And then when I was 15, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and ADHD. Through school, I was asked to see a lot of guidance counselors and psychologists and my mom was worried and my family was worried and they wanted answers so within that I went to go see multiple people and it got to the point where they're like okay we kind of know what's going on and for a long time it was like we're not sure it's like puberty it's just hormones it's this and there's that and then they finally decided like, hey, it's not these things because it's been going for X amount of years. This is what it is. And we put a name and we put a face to what was going on. Friendships, it's like, it was a burden at one point. And then it was kind of like the collective, that's what we have in common. And then it became, oh, that's your problem, not my problem. Um, and then it got to the point where I found people that were like, okay, I'm gonna help you out rather than like giving you more issues. And then it also made me realize, okay, these are the people that I need to be around. These are the people I can't be around. And then relationships end up being triggers. And then those were the triggers that I had to go and get pushed away. Babies bring happiness. <laughs> so my like niece and nephews, they became my like little lifeline, so to say. So they keep me sane and keep me healthy and make sure that I have time for everything, including them. So then I found new ways to deal with everything and then I found out ways to help my family out at the same time. So it ended up bringing like that relationship together. And then I just created a big old family of people who has a better understanding of mental illness over like, this is something we don't talk about. And now it's like, oh, how are you doing mentally? Not just how are you doing physically? Building my lifelines and my life blocks to keep stepping forward like build that stair of life. And every milestone I hit and celebrating it, no matter how I feel in the moment, it's always looking back and being like, I was here and now I'm here. So even in this very sad moment, look at where I came from and continue to look at that. No matter how many steps forward you take, always remember that you were a lot further from these steps two days ago, 10 days ago, two hours ago. Look at where you are now. And that's pretty much what the future holds is like, look back, be happy at where you are now. And that's like the mindset that stays right up until I've achieved everything that I wanted.